Let's be honest, what is stopping the majority of performance-hungry drivers from buying a sports car? It is not the lack of convenience nor concerns about the higher fuel consumption, but rather the non-affordable price tags that come along with each additional horsepower. In order to simplify your search for the lowest prices, we gathered this 2019 digest of the cheapest sports car models currently on sale, with their detailed technical specifications, trims, performance upgrades and speeds. Before we begin, make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay informed about the new videos and enjoy the ride! Mazda MX-5 Miata Though on the outside it is still the beautiful Miata we are so used to, it gets more power for the 2019 model here. The Sky Active G 2.0 liter 4 cylinder was tuned to deliver 181 horsepower, bouncing off the red line at 7500 rpm. As usual, the power is channeled through the rear wheels, and the car gets two transmission options – a slightly revised Sky Active 6-speed manual or a 7-speed automatic with paddle shifters. With the weight distribution improved to 50-50 and torque increased slightly to 151 pound-feet, the new Miata now feels truly revitalized, sporty and balanced. Of course, it is still offered in two variations – a classic convertible with a soft top roof or a retractable fastback. Though the RF actually lets you open and close the roof in motion, it has no entry-level trim and costs almost $5,000 more than the regular Miata. Subaru BRZ This automobile is definitely among the best options for a sports car fan on a budget. The 2.0-liter flat 4 Boxster outputs 205 horsepower when coupled with a manual 6-speed tranny, while the 6-speed automatic drops the number of horses in the stables to 200. In 2019, the base premium trim comes with standard LED headlights, two USB ports, leather-wrapped steering wheel, and keyless entry. Its 6.2-inch infotainment system gets integrated Pandora app and satellite radio. The upper limited configuration is still priced under 30 grand, but offers Brembo performance package, sex shock absorbers, leather upholstery, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay compatibility. It is worth noting that BRZ was co-developed with Toyota, which added to their lineup the 86 model. However, to be honest, both cars are technically Subarus, powered by the same engine and manufactured at the same Japanese Ganma plant. VW Up GTI You might be confused by the city car entry in our lineup, but if we're talking about the most affordable performance-oriented automobiles, then Up GTI is definitely a model to consider. The Mini Hunt Hatch is taking the slot that has been vacated by the Golf GTI due to its inflated price. Since the weight of this automobile is just 2200 pounds, the 1.0 liter through cylinder turbocharged engine is enough to arm it with worthy driving dynamics. The 115 horsepower and 148 pound feet of torque output ensure 8.7 seconds 0 to 60 time and 125 miles per hour top speed. The suspension was tuned to handle improved performance. The car was geared up with 17-inch Oswald wheels with bright red brake calipers, and the chrome-plated tailpipe, black diffuser and rear spoiler definitely make it stand out on the road. Ford Mustang The latest revision of Mustang in the fastback style is offered in four trims – EcoBoost, EcoBoost Premium, GT and GT Premium. As you might have guessed it, the former two feature a 2.3-liter EcoBoost engine with four cylinders, 310 horses and 350 pound-feet of torque. The latter two, however, get a less efficient and no doubt meter 5.0-liter V8, boasting of 460 horses and 420 pound-feet. Among the latest makeovers, we should also point out the LED headlights on all trims. Those were the extras that should be considered for installment on this car are the active valve performance exhaust system, available for the first time for its driver assist technologies and a 101A equipment group that adds a 9-speaker stereo system, SYNC 3 infotainment, selectable driving modes and 18-inch machined face aluminum wheels. Hyundai Veloster Turbo R Spec The new generation of Veloster has submitted a strong resume to be accepted into the family of hot hatchbacks in 2019. The affordably priced Turbo R Spectrum is equipped with a direct-injected 1.6-liter Turbo Gamma 4 sourced from Elantra GT. It is good for 201 horses and 195 pound-feet of torque, which are channeled to the front wheels via a 6-speed manual transmission controlled by a B&M Racing Sport Shifter. 
The suspension is sport tuned, represented by the McPherson strut with coil springs at the front and multi link rear suspension. Since Veloster takes 6.2 seconds to get to 16 pH and has 20 cubic feet trunk, it will be taking away sales from slower and less practical competitors, the likes of Honda Civic Coupe and Fiesta ST, and more expensive ones like Subarus and VWs. Fiat 124 Spider Unlike the model it is based on, the Mazda Miata, the 2019 Fiat 124 is not getting significant upgrades. It still gets the juice from a turbocharged 1.4 liter and line 4 with 160 horsepower as before, coupled with a 6 speed manual transmission or optional 6 speed automatic, which adds $1,350 to the price tag. The two seater is available in four trim levels Classica, Lusso, Lusso Red Top Edition, and Abarth. If the former three differ mostly in the finishing elements and lighting variant, the latter Abarth is considered the performance oriented modification, which produces four additional horsepower due to the retuned engine. Moreover, its automatic transmission gets battle shifters and the dual mode exhaust is added to the list of options. All in all, the Fiat 124 is a classic roadster which definitely turns heads, but requires an upgrade soon if it wants to stay relevant as a sports car. Do not forget to ring the bell to get notified about the new releases and consider watching a couple of suggested episodes that we selected just for you. The links are in the description and information cards. Let's keep rolling! Honda Civic SI Coupe The performance super-injected modification of the Honda Civic was facelifted alongside the standard model and the outside design was primarily based on the concept presented all the way in 2015. In order to keep the cost of the auto down, the powertrain wasn't updated. It is still a turbocharged 1.5-liter four-cylinder tandem with a close ratio six-speed manual transmission that produces 205 horses and 192 pound-feet of torque. Among the performance-oriented specifications, we should point out the adaptive damper system, Helical limited slip differential, and a special sport mode. The car rides on gorgeous 18-inch machine-finished alloy wheels, gets hot rear spoiler and sporty paddles. The interior is equipped with updated handling infotainment with Apple and Android support, 450-watt audio system, and a conventional volume knob, which was so much desired by the drivers of the previous models. Ford Fiesta ST Though the 2019 Fiesta ST receives no major updates, we are happy that it sticks around for one more year before being dropped from the Ford's US lineup in 2020. The car has more aggressive rear end styling with high mounted spoiler and dual exhaust, which contribute to a more dynamic silhouette. It also gets 17 inch aluminum wheels that can be had in red or gray or premium ebony black paint schemes. Unlike the European model that is fitted with a new 1.5 liter three cylinder, the American one retains a 1.6 liter EcoBoost four cylinder and a 6 speed manual transmission. The Spar train nets 197 horses and 202 pound feet of torque channel to the front wheels and helps this little hatch to spur from 0 to 60 in 6.9 seconds. Dodge Challenger The 2019 model year does not mark the beginning of the fourth generation for the Challenger, but it still brings significant changes to the model lineup. It is now being trimmed down to six modifications from the most modest SXT to the performance-enhanced SRT Hellcat Red Eye. While it is still priced south of $30,000, the base version of this year's Challenger sports a 3.6-liter V6 with 305 horsepower, an 8-speed automatic gearbox, and a rear-wheel drive. Plus, all-wheel drive becomes available. The SXT also does not lack standard connectivity and infotainment tech, getting voice command with Bluetooth and a 7-inch Uconnect 4 system compatible with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. It is also worth mentioning that while Ford Mustang remains the best-selling sports coupe in the trio with the Camaro, the Dutch Challenger has managed to take the second place in the volume of sales in 2018. Chevrolet Camaro The latest generation of Camaro saw the light in 2016, so this year's modifications were limited to the facelifts across the whole lineup. The 1LS, 1LT and 2LT are powered by a 275 horsepower 2.0 liter turbo four cylinder engine and are located at the affordable end of the pricing spectrum. The mid range 3LT gets 355 horsepower 3.6 liter V6 as a standard, and the upper end 1SS and 2SS 
utilized the mighty 6.2 liter V8 with the 455 horsepower yield. The most basic LS configuration lets you drive a Camaro but at the same time save hard earned cash. The distinctive features are a manual 6 speed gearbox with 3 driving modes, Tour, Sport, and Snow, the 7 inch Chevrolet Infotainment 3 with Apple and Android compatibility, LED headlights and daytime running lights, and aluminum 18 inch wheels. Hope you were able to find a sports car in our lineup that matches your budget and tastes. It is worth noting that many drivers would prefer buying these models used to pass on the first 5 years of depreciation to someone else, but it is totally up to you. Do not forget to watch other episodes of Automotive Territory and subscribe. As always, may the torque be with you!